their children be successful at the next level, in particular the college and university goers. We'd be, it, it would be wonderful, it would be incredible to have an international baccalaureate program here. It would be wonderful. Those credits transfer to college, they could go to college and start their sophomore year. But that's four, five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars a year. A year. Because you gotta get everyone on that staff trained. Per school. Per school. That's per school. We can't find 955 to fix how we're living. <laughs> I'd be not very smart to suggest to you that in this year's budget, I'd love to start an international baccalaureate program. And what's beautiful about that is they have the middle years program because there should be a middle school. And they have the elementary program. There should be an elementary school. And we could have a wonderful IB feeder pattern. You all, we can't afford it. I'd love a secondary director who could help make that happen. But I couldn't even get that last year. So I have decided I'm going to wait to hear what direction we may take because there, there is going to be money savings no matter what this board decides. I just don't know where, as I tell people, I don't know where or how you gentlemen would like to do it, but I'm hoping we do enough to have money savings so that we can do more than just get out of a hole each year. So that at some point, we, can't do that. <laughs> we can move on and do some really innovative, and, and, and IB isn't even innovative, but I feel like it gives our kids a fighting chance with other students. There's some rigorous programs out there we'd love to have here. We just can't afford it. Now that's just one of many. But that's just to give you an example. Of, there, there are some pretty neat things going on out here. We, but we've got to clean up from years before first. Okay. And I understand that. I'm willing to do that. But I'd like for us to figure out how to do it so we can right. move on. Ms. Trace? You know, I, I, I'm a bottom line kind of person. Did you see Ms. Day's slide? We put it just for you. <laughs> and, 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 you know, the, the, on page uh, what's that, 25, I guess where it says the challenges is two. Additional funding or reducing the budget. I mean, if you think about that, we are at a point where we have to do one or the other or both. So the question is that comes to mind is how do we do that? Uh, you know, I've been around here long enough to know that I know why we are where we are. Because I've always been of the opinion you ask for what you need and you take what you can get and work with it. And that's where that's why we are where we are. Uh, how do we move forward? Just you know we gotta get some additional funds or we gotta reduce the budget. Now, chances of getting additional funds, if it's like it's been, is pretty slim to none. Uh, so, how do we do this? I mean, the bottom line is that we have to do something different from what we're doing because we can't continue to do what we're doing. I agree. But the bottom line is we can't do that tonight. The job has given us some beautiful information that most of us probably already knew. It's some particular and some of the details of it in the history. But uh, that is the she gave you know, the solution we know well all along. I think we're in the process of narrowing it down to which two of those solutions we're going to do. That's why we're having all these things that we're having hearings, questionnaires, surveys, correct? And when you get all those things in, and I'm sure this board is going to make a decision one way or another. Correct? Mr. Smith, may I add to that, Mr. Chair? Maybe you don't make a decision. Maybe you're wrong. We don't make one decision. One way or the other. May I add to that? Because I think when we combine what Mr. Richardson and Mr. Smith have contributed, we do need to keep in mind that the 955 is real for this year. Well, when we look at reduction, for those people who have been hired this year, they're working, and they expect to finish this year. That's the human resource side. So what we do have to do is figure out how we capture and where will we capture those dollars for this year, but consecutive years to come as well. So we really have two challenges at the moment. Yes, let me put the superintendent on the spot. At our last meeting, Again? 
Yes, and uh, I can do a great job. But uh, this question is, at the last meeting, you were going to meet with the county manager to sort of uh, get his take on, I guess, approaching the county commissioners. Did you ever have that? Idea. It was some feedback. I don't think you want to talk about it. <laughs> well, I mean, that can help us, you know, channel us or direct us. Here is what I'll tell you. I know the county commissioners are meeting tonight okay. as well. Um, and Mr. Phelps and I, we spoke by phone and decided to let's have our liaison meeting okay. at the end of the month and let's see where we are and then bring information back to the board from that meeting. Report back to the board Report December back. the 4th. That's right. We meet on December 3rd, our board meets. And where we have board reports that evening, we, we meet with liaisons on the 26th. In fact, two things will happen that evening, gentlemen. On the 26th at 12 noon, we meet with the auditors. It's all the time. So I've got to bring the full board report on the 3rd, but we always get that to the liaison committee first, not with county commissioners, but with our liaisons on the board in case there's some other things we need to get from the auditor share with the full board. Full board will receive the audit reports we have two this time on December 3rd. And so part of that will be to hear from the liaison committee. And that way, Mr. Phelps will have to speak for the commissioners and you won't have to speak. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, the they didn't have that report back. They had an That's right. So, and on the 4th, if I may, Mr. Chair, you may. that very next night, December, is a little cumbersome. So, we have the liaison meeting on the 26th, one at 12 and one at 1 right here. On December 3rd, we have our board meeting, our regularly scheduled board meeting. And our staff met just today because we have some information I think you will find um, of great interest. One is our architects who've begun with the Mary Potter architectural work will be able to have renderings for us on the third or fourth. So at this point we have a few items you gentlemen really have to act on. For example, remember the five remaining school improvement plans right. that had to be posted? Right. You must do that. We must hear from the two audit reports at that meeting. And there was just one, I think, one other topic, and I'm drawing a blank. But if we did just those few topics and then presented the Mary Potter study on the evening of the third, on the fourth, you would have the remaining information you requested on the Toller study and the hearing for Toller on the fourth. We could then select a date for the public hearing, and if you have additional requests, for Mary Potter. And we could get all of that done in December, if that's your pleasure. But you might want to sleep on it and let me send you an email <laughs> or something, and to, let's check our calendars and such. I'm looking puzzled because I just want to confirm. So there is not a public hearing on the 4th? Yes, sir, for total. There We're is one? At Tola, yes, okay, sir. I misunderstood. I thought you said that we would get information on the 3rd and we would get additional information on the 4th and we could schedule a, a hearing. Now, on the 3rd, I could lighten the agenda to the degree that you all could hear the Mary Potter story. Right, okay. And you've not heard any of that because we got to even finish putting it all together. Okay. But we could do that on December 3rd. We'll switch gears on the 4th. You all had a few other things you wanted us to research for you on Toller. Mm -hmm. So we need to give you those things on the floor. We'll provide dinner. We'll hear those things. We'll have a moment for the public to sign up, that 30-minute window again. And then there's a public hearing for Toller that night. And that will be at Toller. Yes, sir. Yes. We're going to do that at Toller if, if that's all okay. right with the board. It should be. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. I, don't think, I think we can have permission. Uh, Ms. Day, would you, I, I think it would be very, I, I think it would be very helpful for the board. Uh, can you get us the per pupil funding, local funding uh, per pupil, uh, current expense monies? And um, 
how we rank with per pupil funding and ability to pay, you know that thing the state comes up with every year, that, you know, whatever, that, whatever that term is. And then um, per, per pupil funding uh, related to the Granville County tax rate. And what I'd like to see, if you could, is over the last, let's say, three or four years, in other words, what's the trend of that? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? What this one? So, as soon as I get any information from you, why don't we say by noon tomorrow, because you're right, you know, I'm Mr. Hens. You might need a moment to slip on this, seriously. This is, this is a lot of information. Um, so with this survey, it is surveyable now. It is a surveyable document. That is what we could not do. So RTI has done that work for you all. They took the three sets. They've come up with this compilation of information. You might be free to have it all in one document. And we added some pieces. If I don't hear anything from any of you, I will tell Angela around noon tomorrow, go with the edits you heard last night, and we'll see how quickly she can get something back to me, and I will get it to you before we proceed with posting anything or getting copies made uh, for the public. We've been asked to make sure we include a community location like the public library in addition to this site and the school. Is there anything else you'd like for us to own with that, Jim? Okay, in that case, we will, I'd like to thank Ms. Debbie and our finance department. Yeah, great job. Good job, Dr. Thank you. You, you did very well. Very well. Thank you. At the bottom of your agenda, uh, gentlemen, we have the upcoming meetings. Yeah. The only thing missing from the liaison meeting is 12 noon will be audit and 1 p.m. will be liaison meeting with commissioners. So I need you gentlemen at 12 and at 1. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> and we are going to work really hard. We're excited that the architects feel they will have proper remains for <coughs> December 3rd. So we will keep that meeting portion as short as possible so that the emphasis, we won't have to call it a work session, so to speak, just to hear that. If, if that's okay with you all. I guess the final thought for the liaison meeting, <clears throat> that there will be a request for recurring and uh, <coughs> not just 18, 19, but recurring funding. That was, I believe, made really clear in the minutes last meeting. So I think Mr. Peasonop would go ahead and have that. <laughs> 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 You're right. This is not a one time. Need. Uh, any, anything else, right Patrick? Because we'll be happy to take it. Okay. Anything else? No executive session this evening. All right, then. Can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed. What is it you can do now? We've learned up in the